Hi, I'm Katie Fontana. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm just going to show you um, a quick, easy breakfast smoothie recipe. It's called a cinnamon roll smoothie, but it is really simple. It's really good. Packed full of protein. You can add extra protein um, powder, but you don't have to. It's very good. My kids will all drink it. I'll show you how easy it is, how it takes me seriously. It's just like maybe 10 minutes to prep it all. Okay. I'm going to start by adding just half a cup of oats to my container. And I'm also making up my tin bags for the rest of the week, so I will do that at the same time. Now I will add um, this vanilla whey protein. It's really up to you if you use it or not. It, you don't have to. I do like it gives it a little bit of that vanilla flavor and we really could use the extra protein. So, and if you're doing Trim Healthy Mama, it's always good to add this extra protein with the cottage cheese that we're adding. So I just do a tablespoon or about, I kind of do a heaping tablespoon sometimes. Um, so I have quite a bit left. This has lasted for quite a while, a few months of doing smoothies every day. So stretches pretty far also. Now you can choose your own sweetener. You can just use plain sugar if that is what you have. You can do any of the stevia or any of the sweetening blends that Trim Healthy Mama has and stuff. So I just get this because it's at my local store. So I do just um, about half a teaspoon. So you can do up to a teaspoon, but I don't need it that sweet. So I just do about half a teaspoon. Then I do a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I don't necessarily do exactly a teaspoon. Sometimes it's over because I like cinnamon. So these are all the dry ingredients. I bag these up and I have them ready so we can pull them out in the morning and just throw them in. All right, guys, so I have a little more than half a cup of my unsweetened almond milk. We're gonna add about three big tablespoons of our low-fat cottage cheese and then half of a frozen banana. All right, and then I fill this up with about um, a cup of crushed ice and add it in. All right, now I'm going to blend it all up and it's noisy, so I'm not going to do it on video, but I'll show it when we get done. All right, so the reason I use the mason jar for my measuring and ice is because this is what I use to drink out of. So I just pour it in there. If it's too thick and doesn't come out very good, then I will add a little bit more water or almond milk to make it a little more runny, but I kind of like it thicker. Okay, so that was our easy oatmeal cinnamon smoothie. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I've got a sick baby drinking her milk right now. <laughs> but give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you want more simple, easy recipes like this, more homemaking, homeschooling, Christian lifestyle parenting videos, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you. Thanks. Bye.